hello everyone welcome to your favorite youtube channel my project ideas today we are going to make a django project on the topic project management so basically here we are going to look at how a project is managed the prime focus which i am going to show here is the inventory management like the inventory as you all know that while you are purchasing stuff for a company and his or her inventory for a company's CEO, for a company's higher dignitaries, his or her uh, inventory plays a major role. So now in this session, we'll be looking forward how to manage the inventory. So what are the requirements? You require VS Code or any other text editor in which you are going to write your code. An operating system, you may use any operating system, but I have used your Windows 10. Then let's have a look at the most important part that is tools and tech used. So the tools and tech used here are HTML, Hypertext Markup Language, Bootstrap, CSS that is Cascading Style Sheets, Django because this project is based on Django on Python framework, JavaScript for the functionality and SQL that is used as the database. So now let's move to the code part and we'll see what does this code have in hold for us. Uh, let's move to asj.python here the configuration of the core project is set it basically uh, has a callable module level function which is known as application then what you need to do you need to import os then from django.core.asj import get asj application then you need to set the environment that is a django settings module at the core settings then the application variable will set to the parameter which is called by the get asj application function then in the settings.python basically you import os then you set up paths inside the project on the base directory then you will have a secret key and the debug will be set as true then certain hosts will be allowed then your applications definition will be done so certain installed apps you can see here these apps are installed these are certain middleware then your root uh, configuration URL configuration is set to core.urls then the templates are also set then the WSGI application will be set to core.wsgi.application and the databases will be set the default the engine will be set to django.db.backends the name will be set then the uh, your author password validations will be set in an array it will be basically a key value pair then the language code time zone your uh, USCs, everything will be set and the URLs will be the static URLs will be set to static the template will be set to bootstrap 4 because here we are going to use a bootstrap class and the fourth version of boot, the bootstrap class then the login redirect URL will be home and the login URL will be login then your login required the array will, will store your login logout and about so um, here you can see that this bootstrap for its use is it's a template for the crispy form users this basically redirects the login redirects it to the home page after after the login you will be redirected to the home page if certain thing which you basically do is illegal for example if you enter the username and pass password incorrectly then the login page will be only the default or the landing page okay and these are the urls which are which are ignored by the login required and this can be accessed while you log in into the system in the urls.python here so we have uh, from django.contrib we are imported the admin here then from django.urls we have imported path and include from django.contrib.authorization we imported views as author views then uh, for this uh, like you have imported static from django.configuration.urls.static that is used for static files then these are certain url patterns which we have used like the admin login html logout html home page inventory and transactions now let's move to wsgi.python in the wsgi.python again you have imported oh, it's the same as asgi.python only instead of asg we have used wsg plus other things remains the same now let's move to the home page and the home page we have certain apps in the apps uh, from django apps we have imported app configuration and from class home page configuration we take this app configuration as the input parameter and the name is set to home page 
in test.python from django.test you have imported certain test case and whatever test case you want you can write it here then urls.python again we have uh, django urls we have imported path we have imported url we have imported views then we have set the url patterns to name and about so you may be literally a bit shocked that why have not shocked exactly you may be a bit curious to know that for this small lines of code single line of code three four lines of code why are we using certain different files this is because to maintain the modularity of the code you may have known uh, from the earlier projects which i have said you that this is actually big project this is full stack project you have front end you have back end and you have a database so if you write all the code in a single file, it will be very difficult for you to debug to find out the error in your code. And also it will be also difficult for another person who is studying your code, who needs to proceed through your code to learn or to know about the errors or to understand your code. That's why we divide the code into multiple small, small components so that it is easy for a person who writes also and a person who later reads it. Right? In the views part, we have uh, imported the render, template view, stock, because here, as I have said, we are working on the inventory. We have stock, we have sale bill, purchase bill. Then here, basically, we have set the labels, the data, the sales and purchases, and we need to re return the request, template name and context. So I know you are a bit confused by just I am explaining you the code and you're just looking through my screen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run it and I'll show it to you so that it will be pretty clear that what I mean. Let's move to the terminal. Let's clear. I've already said you how to run it. Python manage.py run server. So it ran let's so i am already logged in as the admin uh, for the admin part let's show let me log out and i'll show you login again the username is admin password is admin123 how did i do i created a super user by which i created my admin let's log in so thing which i already said like already i did it before let's do one more thing new incoming stock supplier I don't have any supplier okay cancel let me do inventory i'll add a new inventory the name is recess my quantity will be 500 add to inventory okay now let me go to the purchase wait purchases list i don't have any okay suppliers so let me have a supplier um say sahil phone number is something okay email id is okay sahil and address is this okay then i have to have a gsti number let me have it to six let me add a supplier see the supplier is added then let me have the sales let me have outgoing stock again customer name is this one email let me put this the gsti number is this one um two my stock will be dresses and i'll I have put the price as 500 quantity will be two at two cents so this is my bill let me save the draft. I have saved, saved the draft. Now let me move to the home. You can see here. Dresses I have bought two. And this is my shoes part. The bill can also be viewed. Okay. So I hope this is clear to you. You understood certain things. Uh, this is my admin page basically. See. Okay. The uh, super user part. So I hope you understood the working of this project. For more interesting project ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thank you and have a great day.